In this lesson, we do some work on completing number sentences. Now, to solve these problems, we will very often use the opposite operation, okay? otherwise known as the inverse operation. Let's look at some examples. We're asked to complete the number sentence for each. Now, the first one, okay, a real tough one. 5 plus something equals 7. Now, I know that you know the answer is 2, but let's see how this inverse operation idea works. We start with our answer, which is 7. It's got a plus. The opposite of plus is to minus, and then we've got the 5. So we're thinking 7 minus 5, and 7 minus 5 is 2. Now, once we write an answer, let's check it. 5 plus 2, does that equal 7? Or well, yes, it does. The next one, 5 times something equals 20. Now, again, I know that you know the answer, but let's see this inverse operation. We finish off with a 20. So working backwards, we start with 20. The opposite of times is divide, and then we've got 5. So let's think 20 divided by 5. And 20 divided by 5 is 4. So let's check our answer. 5 times 4, does that equal 20? Well, yes, it does. The next one, something minus 8 equals 7. We're working backwards, got the 7. The opposite of minus is plus, and we're dealing with 8. So we think 7 plus 8. And 7 plus 8 is 15. So let's write 15 there. And checking our answer, 15 minus 8, does that equal 7? Yes, it does. All right, the next one, something divided by 3 equals 8. So again, working backwards, there's our 8. Opposite of divide is to times, and then we have 3. So we're thinking 8 times 3. And 8 threes are 24. So we check our answer, 24 divided by 3 equals 8. Yes. Now this one here is slightly different. 15 minus something equals 7. Now, if we use the inverse operation idea, start with a 7, opposite of minus is plus, and we've got 15. So 7 plus 15, we're thinking, and 7 plus 15 is 22. Now, on checking our answer, hmm, 15 minus 22, does that equal 7? Well, no, it doesn't. In fact, it equals minus 7. Now, when that's the case, let's cross out that working. That didn't work. If that's the case, we just work from left to right. 15 minus 7. Let's just write that. And 15 minus 7 is 8. Let's check our answer. 15 minus 8, does that equal 7? Well, yes, it does. This question here, 24 divided by something equals 8. Again, you might know the answer, and if you do, that's great. But let's do the inverse operation idea. We've got the 8. The opposite of divide is to times, and we've got 24. So we write 8 times 24. And when we work that out, we get 192. Now, I'm checking the answer. 24 divided by 192 certainly does not equal 8. So when that's the case, let's cross that out. Let's just work from left to right. 24 divided by 8, and that is 3. I'm checking that answer. 24 divided by 3 equals 8. Yes, it does.